In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a fully adjustable multi-step aider for around $8. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy. Alright, so let's go over everything that we're going to need. Um, obviously, we're going to need something to attach to. This is a one stick that I'm kind of playing around with. Um, I'm going to tweak the design a little bit, I think, uh, and um, yeah, there's a few different things that I want to do to this. If you're interested in seeing uh, uh, how I build a one stick, not this one, but I have a video on building a different one. If you're interested in that, if you're on YouTube, I'll leave a link up here. Um, this one, there's not a video for yet because I'm not quite done. I want to there's some things I want to change and do to this, and when I do finally get it done, then I'll put the video out. I'll make a video on this um, itself. So we have what we're attaching to. Next thing we need, this is a uh, six mil sterling climbing rope. Um, this is a four mil sterling uh, accessory cord climbing rope. Now, you don't want to use like the box store rope, you wanna use an actual climbing rope. I'm lucky enough that I have a, a rock climbing store around locally that I can get as much rope as I need in all different uh, thicknesses. Not everybody's gonna have that, so if you don't, I would definitely suggest going to like the actual websites of rope manufacturers like Beal or Sterling, or there, there's uh, quite a few that are out there. There's, there's a handful of really good ones uh, but I would definitely go with an actual uh, rock climbing rope from a legit website. I wouldn't just go on Amazon and buy rock climbing stuff because a lot of that stuff's from China and uh, yeah, it's not it's not as good. So I would definitely use the best. Um, you know, if you get something from Home Depot or Lowe's, it might you know let's say it holds 200 pounds. It probably does hold 200 pounds. But it's probably not going to be able to keep holding 200 pounds, can, you know, continuously over and over and over again. And you don't want to find that out if you're 15, 20 feet in the air. So I would definitely go with a good rope. Next thing we're going to need is something to cut it with, and then we're going to need a lighter or some kind of a torch or something to burn the ends um, after we're done cutting it because we don't want this to continue to fret. So this is actually enough rope for three. Um, I, I'm just going to make this one for you guys and show you how I do that. So um, I need to cut this rope, so I'll cut that and you know I'll uh, bring you guys over so I can show you how I get my measurements and stuff like that. It's really not that difficult. I just eyeball it where I think I want it to go, how many steps am I putting on it and all that. So um, let me take you guys over to a post so I can tie this up so we can get those measurements. All right, I have my rope, I have my stick hung up, and I can't go much higher because I'm inside of a, a basement and so I have a ceiling, but I can go lower on my, uh, my steps. Um, typically, I like to run a three-step aider. That's because I have bad knees, um, so it, it just helps me. And I'll explain more of that when, when we go out and test this thing out. So it depends on the person. Some people like to run a two, some people like to run a three, some people like to run more. Um, you know, it all depends. So I'm going to set up probably for a three. Okay, so now we have two pieces cut the exact same length, right? So I'm gonna come over here, give myself a little bit I got a nice piece in the mouth, and then I'm just going to go, and I'm going to wrap my thumb one, two, three times, and then I'm going to come from the back, and I'm going to follow down that hole. Okay. Give myself more of a tail. So I got to Got a little bit of tail hanging on. Let's we'll see if we can do with that in a little bit. So now we got one piece hanging. We're gonna take our other one. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Nice little bit of slack. 
and then I'm going to wrap my thumb one, two, three times. And I'm going to go through round, back, down. And I'm going to pull myself some more tail. Give myself a little bit of a tail. And tighten it down. Okay. So we got two of them hanging. Nice and tight. All right, so now we have our two ropes, okay, both tied on. And I'm using a scaffold knot because the, the more I climb on this, the tighter these knots are going to get, okay? It's important, too, to mention that on this stick itself, these edges are rounded over. I took a grinder and I rounded them over to where they're nice and smooth. So there's no, there's no uh, any sharp edges at all on where these are going to sit. So we're actually going to sit on the outside like that. Okay, so now we have both of them tied on with scaffold knots. We got a decent amount of tail. We'll tape that up later. I'll show you. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom of them. And I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to wrap it around my finger three times like that. I'm going to pinch that coil. I'm going to slide it off my finger and keep that coil. And I'm just going to take the rope and push it right down that hole like this. I'll redo that again. I'll do it again and show you because I don't think I get a good angle of it going down there. This is just a stopper knot so that when you're using the aiders, if, if it does slide down, it can't go past that knot. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, right? So I'll show you again. I just wrap it around my finger. Okay. I pinch the coil, slide it off my, my hand, and then I just take the loop and I fish and push it down. And then pull it tight. It should look like this. They're about the same. Little one's a little bit bigger. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, now we're done with this. I'm actually going to take you over to the table, and we'll tie our loops. All right. So now that we're back over here, I have the four mil. Uh, we use the six mil on the actual stick itself. There are the leads coming down. And our loops are going to be made out of the four mil itself. So what I'm going to do is make a loop, and I'm going to make a loop, and I'm going to create like an X kind of on it, like this. Okay. So you can see the X. Then I'm going to wrap it once. Twice. And on the third one, I'm going to shoot down the hole like this. Okay. And I'm going to pull it. So that, so that it looks like that. So once I have that one tied, I'm going to figure out one side will slide, the other side won't. So if you pull it, one side slip through. And so what I usually do is I go about an arm's length. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to cut a nice decent tail off of this so that I can tie my double fishermen's. And be sure to burn your ends. Alright, I'll set this one aside for now. So and then on the third one, I'm going to shoot down. And I'm going to pull tight on both these ends here. Then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to pull it like that, nice and tight. <clears throat> what I do after that is I use, um, right now I'm using electrical tape, but I'm actually going to redo this with hockey. Uh, the electrical tape does work. It works for a little bit, but then it'll start to undo. Hockey tape will actually hold for a lot longer. But I'm going to use the electrical tape now because I can't find my hockey tape. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of electrical tape. I'm just going to tape this tail and this tag in. Okay, so now we have the loop. I'm going to make 
two more because I'm doing a, a three-step aider. If you only wanted to do a two-step aider, you can just do two. Um, so I won't bore you with doing this two more times. I'll just do those and then we'll get back to the stack. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push the first piece through the tubular leather. Then, just like before, I'm going to tie our pruset. One, two, and one more. I'm going to pull that tight. Clean it up. And right. And on this side, we're going to take our other piece of tubular leather and we're going to feed it through. From here, we can tie our prusik for the other side just like we did all the other ones. We're going to go one. Actually, sometimes it's easier if you go pinky thumb because you can go one, two, three, and then pinch it. And then we're going to take those loops. We're going to take this line and we're going to run it through. We're going to pull it tight and clean it up. So I'm going to go behind this rope and I'm going to put this through that loop just like that. Then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go another time through that loop and I'm going to pull the rope through. And I'm going to go one more time through that loop. So I'm basically just wrapping it around the rope. I'm tying a Prusik knot. Making it look like an actual Prusik knot. Now that we have a Prusik knot on this side, okay, if you wanted to use a pipe or something, this would be the time to do it. Loop. We're going to take our fingers and we're going to go through just like this. And then all we're going to do is roll it like that. And then we're going to start to where it's like this. And we're going to start wrapping one, two. One, two. Once you have two wraps, pinch. Once you have once you have those wraps, let me do that again so you can see. Start from the beginning. So we have the loop. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my fingers pinched. I'm gonna go in and spread and roll. Like that. Now from here I can go one, two, one two and then pinch now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to collapse the whole thing to where they're all like that then I'm going to take this rope and I'm going to go right through it it's probably better it's probably better to not have the stopper knot on it when you're doing this part, but I do, so I'm just push it through. So now that that's on there, I can pull it tight and clean it up. Now we have a knot there. Right?
Okay, so I'm out here. I got the saddle set up. I got the stick set up with the aider itself. But I'm going to show you the reason why I, I personally need a three-step aider. Um, again, it goes back to my knees being bad. So I'm going to jump up on here and, and explain to you why that is. Okay, so imagine that I've already made my first move. I hung down. I, I hung down, grabbed my stick, and I put it up. Okay, and now I'm getting ready to make my second move. This is where I have issues. Okay, so if I'm here, if I'm here, and I need to get my foot into that step, that step this motion here is really hard for me to do with with bad knees because of how high my knee is so by having that third step down lower that allows me to kind of roll up onto that and continue to step and continue to go so again so again i just wanted to reiterate on that but for me personally I do need a three-step aider and even um, like right now my knees feel great I'm not having any issues so I probably could get away with a two-step aider doing that the problem is is once you walk a mile or two back and your knees are starting to hurt um, or you're fully loaded with all your gear uh, you, you have multiple layers of clothes on it becomes very difficult and towards the end of the season if my knees are bothering me sometimes I might even need to throw a fourth on that so to each his own um but i just kind of want to run through that and explain okay guys i just want to kind of get you a, a close-up on the aider itself and um you know how easily it is to adjust i what i've been doing is whenever i adjust this when i pull them down i just kind of grab this and pull down on it and that's been holding fine i don't think i need to um i'm pretty sure that even if I just kind of pull it up, push it down, I can probably just step in it and it'll just hold. So I don't think you really need to do that. But um, if you break it free, it slides real easy. And you can adjust them. I, um, I did notice that if these aren't perfectly level, it doesn't really matter. Um, your foot will kind of just sit in there and it'll go anyway. So they don't, I mean, as you can see on the, I've been climbing on this one, this top one, and that's, that's level right there. So it, it doesn't matter if they're level or not. Um, and the way that I've been packing this up, originally I pushed them all up top like that, but I actually found that if I go all the way down to the bottom, it's actually a lot better. It stows away a lot better. So show you this is basically what I've been doing I drop them all to the bottom and then I'll take my stick pop it off the tray and then I take this and I just wrap it up like that and then I'll take these and just drop them down like this then I can take that wrap it up Get a couple of wraps on it and just kind of wrap it around and that's how I've been wrapping it up have it come undone stays tight so that's how I've been wrapping that up all right so that's going to do it for this video guys um, if you got anything out of this video please like share subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one